What's up everyone? I am back with another Prison Architect video. This time I'm bringing you a tutorial video on how to make a optimal workshop. So you can see this is my prison that I showed in my last two videos. Uh, in the previous two videos I discussed this which was a mod and I also discussed my little isolated section of the prison over here. Uh, but this time I'm going to be discussing, like I mentioned, the workshop. So I see a lot of videos where people don't have a uh, a workshop that is the most efficient size possible in this game. So the most prisoners you can have working in a workshop currently is 20. And that really depends on the size. You can obviously have less prisoners possible in a workshop if the workshop is too small to accommodate 20 prisoners. So you need to have a workshop that has a total size of 240, I believe. Yeah, so you can see this is yeah 24 by 10. That's just the size that I personally like, um, but 240 overall is what's necessary. You can always resize it to be a different... You know, it can be like this, that's fine, or like this. I just always have it as a 10 by 24 on the interior. Um, so in this prison, I have three workshops, and that's because, like I said, only 20 prisoners can work in one workshop. Um, unlike in previous versions of the alpha, having multiple workshops is not inefficient at all. Uh, prisoners are pretty intelligent about where to move materials back and forth. Um... Now, some other confusion that I just wanted to clear up uh, was with uh, manufacturing wood. So, as you can see, I have a very large forestry near the workshops, so the, um, the workmen can put the logs into the workshop when they're done tearing them down or whatever. Uh, and you can see that the prisoners will convert the woods in the wood the logs rather into wood. Um, and the reason why this is important to do is because this actually generates a lot of money. Now you can see that this is a stack of, uh, well this is three, this is four log, but normally it'll only be three log, you just can't see the one log underneath this stack of three, or stack of four. Um, but each log is converted into four pieces of wood. And you can see I can sell this log, uh, you can sell an individual log for $50 each. So this entire stack is worth $150. But once it's converted into wood, it's worth the same amount per wood. However, each log gets converted into four wood. So a stack of wood is a lot more cost effective to sell than just a stack of raw logs. And you can see here, I'm even converting some wood into superior beds, which is even more, well, which is even better to sell. Right now you can only sell them eventually, they're, they're going to add uh, superior cells. Um, well anyway, once you've converted into wood, you have to have an export section. Uh, I have it near the, you know, deliveries and garbage where all the trucks come in. And you can see I just have it on the other side of the road, it's not really intrusive at all. And they just lay there, well, I, right now I have some excess logs, which is why there's so many logs, but normally it would be mostly wood. And you can see a superior bed is also coming over here. So that is the basics of how to make the most efficient workshops possible. Oh, and also, if you have a lot of wood coming in, you don't really want these presses. That's why I have more saws than presses, because presses are only necessary for license plates. Saws are necessary for... Uh, logs and saws are also necessary for license plates, um, but logs do not require presses, they only require saws. Um, and then in the back here, I just have a few carpenters' tables for more experienced prisoners. You should always have enough slots in your workshop for the number of qualified prisoners that you have. So, as you keep getting more qualified prisoners, you want to be building more workshops. That's where this prison has three workshops. So, you can see if I go into deployment and jobs that I have all the slots maxed out and there's a total of 45 qualified prisoners and I have three workshops for a, a max number of 60 prisoners. The only reason why there's not more prisoners working right now is because they're probably doing other things like um, taking some classes or something. Uh, so anyway, this has been a tutorial on how to make efficient workshops. So again, you just want to basically 
create workshops that have dimensions of uh, 24 by 10 or anything that covers 240 square meters. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see some more prison architect videos and whatnot, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.